Hey everybody, how's it going today? This is Paul. Welcome to lesson 42 in the Intermediate Algebra series. Today I'm going to be solving a mixture problem. And so the problem we're going to solve today is if we have a mixture of a 22% salt solution and a mixture of a 10% salt solution, how much of each solution should be mixed together to obtain 3 liters of a 14% salt solution? So when you're dealing with a mixture problem with two mixtures combining into one, um, basically what you want to look at is you want to figure out you've got some percentage, in this case it's salt, we have a percentage of salt, we'll just call it P1, and that's going to be, we'll just call P1, the we're going to call that uh, 22 percent, we're going to call that the percentage of salt in the first solution. And then we'll say we have P2, the percentage of salt in the second solution. And so that's going to be 10%. And we want to combine a certain amount of these two together to get an end result. And our solution in the end is going to be a solution of 14% salt. So the other variables that we have in this situation, we have the quantity basically, or the volume in this case. So we don't really know how much of the first solution we need. So we'll just put Q for quantity. So quantity one would be the amount of solution one we need, and we don't know what that is, so we're just gonna call that X. And quantity two will be the quantity, how much of the 10% solution we need. Well, we know that we, well, let's, let's wait on this for a second. Let's go ahead and move on down to quantity three. This is going to be the end result. And we know that we need to have a total quantity of three liters. So we're just gonna say that Q3 is equal to three. So now going back to quantity two, if our end result is going to be three liters and we've already used X of those liters up for the 22% solution, then that means that the quantity that we need for the 10% solution, the second solution, is going to be the end result taking away the amount that we used for the first solution. So we have the total solution in the end minus the amount that we used for the first solution gives us the quantity of solution that we need for the 10% solution. So now basically what we want to do is we're just going to set this up into an equation that we can solve here. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to say that um, the percentage of solution one multiplied by the quantity that we're using of solution one plus the percentage of salt in solution two. So the percentages are the percentages of salt. And then this is multiplied by the quantity of solution used. So P is percentage of salt, Q is quantity of solution used. And in the end, that's going to equal the final percentage of salt multiplied by the final quantity of solution in the end. So we already know what P1 is, it's 22%. So writing that in decimal form is 0.22. And then Q1 we said was equal to X. And then we're adding that to P2, which is 10%, or in decimal form is 0.1. Q2 is equal to 3 minus X. And then that's equal to P3. And P3 was 14% or 0.14. Multiplied by Q3, which is simply 3. So now we have an algebraic equation to solve here. So we, <coughs> so we have 0.22X plus 0.1 times 3, distributing this in here. This is just simply going to give us 0.3 minus, distributing the 0.1 into the second term now. 0.1 times x is 0.1x, and that's equal to 0.14 times 3, and that equals 0.42. So now basically we have 0.22x and then we're taking away 0.1x. 
So 0.22 minus 0.1 is equal to 0.12x. And then we need to get rid of, well, let's just go ahead and let's rewrite this up on the next line here so you can see what's going on. So we just added these two together, 0.22x minus 0.1x was 0.12x. So that got rid of these two people right here. And then this right here is going to be plus 0.3 still. And then we're going to set that equal to 0.42. So then basically we just need to subtract 0.3 on each side. So a positive 0.3 and a negative 0.3 cancel, leaving us with just 0.12x on the left hand side. And 0.42 minus a 0.3 is a 0.12. So then we just simply have to divide each side by 0.12. And 0.12 divided by 0.12 cancels. And so same over here, this equals 1. So then we just have x is equal to 1. And x was the amount of the 22% solution that we needed. So we need, basically need 1 liter of 22% solution. And then since the quantity of the 10% solution is going to be 3 liters minus the amount that we used for solution 1, 3 minus 1 is going to be 2 liters. So we need 2 liters of the 10% solution. So if we combine 1 liter of a 22% salt solution and 2 liters of a 10% salt solution, we will have an end result which is a 14% salt solution that is 3 liters in volume. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra series. You guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.